Welcome to another edition of Performance TV. Over the next few weeks, we're going to bring you the highlights of the 2013 SEMA show in Las Vegas. This show is huge, and Kathy's already on the aisles. Let's see what we got. When we come to SEMA, we are looking for new ideas, ways to change things, take out the old, put in the new, and Chris Rashke from ARP, a lot of folks that are doing their street rod and their hot rod, and they're taking those old motors out and they're putting these LS motors in. But when we're going to do that, we want to make sure that we're fastening them up properly, and we do that with ARP. Yes, and on this engine, there's a whole uh, variety of high-strength stainless fasteners. Whether we have a kit for the application or if you just want to buy it in bulk and put your own kit together, you can do it with ARP. And when we take a look around here, I mean, this is not only doing it right with the right fastener, but we've got stainless. It's dressing this up right. We've got all the motor stuff done here. A lot of folks are changing the tranny back here. And Chris, what a problem are they going to run into? Well, when you when you put the LS engine in your car, you're going to want to maybe run the 704R overdrive or the turbo 400 transmission, and then it requires an adapter. And we make a special bolt just for that adapter. When you want to know that you have the quality, you just look for the ARP stamped right on top of the bolt. And that's because you guys have complete control over everything right in house. Yes, we make everything in house at ARP. We stamp everything. Everything ARP. We're family owned and operated and made in the USA. You want to find out more about this particular kit or anything, custom stuff, they can do it all for you at ARP because they only do bolts, they do it right. Just hop on their website, arp boltscom I don't know about you, but if you live in a climate where you're dealing with a lot of snow, ice, stuff like that, man, I'll tell you what, Kevin, I get tired of having to come outside and deal with the windshield wiper stuff, but with Blade Boot, Man, this is going to save a whole lot of time and a lot of aggravation. Blade Boot is the ultimate wiper blade protection. Easy slide on, slide off. And it works just like this. Slide them on. And when you're done, slide them off. But there's a lot of windshield wipers out there that are different lengths. Do you have to order a specific size? No, not at all. These are 32 inch length, which will cover any wiper blade out there, but they're also trimmable so that you can customize them to a smaller wiper blade. Not only for dealing with snow and ice, but what about the, the guys and gals who maybe have a, a show car? They're perfect for that because it prevents dry rot and melding. You can take them to the car show and make a statement. On your blade boots, you can do anything you want, Cheryl. Yes, we can. We can do customization. We can do bulk orders for these and companies can advertise their business. Is it pretty simple just to send you guys the graphics we want done? And Absolutely. You can go ahead and send us a file and we can put the graphics on for you. It's easy peasy. And also, some things like the look, please don't touch, is also our custom artwork that we have available right now. So there's no wait time for that. The other ones that are custom graphics with the logos, it's still a fast turnaround, but we want to make sure we get it right. If we want to find out more about getting our set of blade boots, where can we do so? Bladeboot.com and go ahead and contact us and we'll take great care of you. Emergencies happen, and even sometimes uh, you not necessarily have an emergency, but there's just some folks out there that don't realize what E means. <laughs> MyMagicTank.com, you can find a great product here that will solve that. Steve, tell us all about this. Well, Magic Tank is a non-flammable emergency fuel that you would store in your trunk or in your house or your vehicle, and should you be running out of fuel, it will give you the equivalent as gas, but without the flammable aspect, so you don't have to worry about it blowing up in your car on a hot day, getting stuck on the side of the road and getting hit by a car, God forbid, or anything like that. Well, they've essentially taken out the butanes, heptanes, all the high flammable stuff, and there's no olefins in the product, so it won't gum up any of the sensors, any, anything in your engine. So this would be a great gift for someone. Well, it has a 10-year shelf life, so you can, for less than a cup of coffee, it costs you a year. You can have this sitting in your car. Hopefully, you'll never have to use it, but at least you know that you have the peace of mind should it ever happen. It comes with a little cardboard funnel that pops out. Just rip it off, pour it in. Matter of minutes, you're back on the road. You can go quite a ways on this. Depends on your car, depends on the terrain, but usually you'll get probably about 10 to 15 miles. They'll get you to wherever, you know, hopefully you get to gas station fill up. It's rated at 91 plus octane. We are coming out with a quart for motorcycles. We have a one gallon and a two and a half gallon coming out as well. You want to find out more about this great product? Just hop on their website, mymagictank.com. This edition of Performance TV presented by Low Car Performance Products is being brought to you by ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. 
Quick Fuel, innovators in fuel systems. Anzo USA, don't get left in the dark. East Coast Diesel, we will not be beat on price. And by Zetronics, state of the art. One of the interesting things at SEMA, I learned a lot of things here, and I'm with Tommy from Sprint Booster. I'm really intrigued by this. There's lag in the drive-by-wire throttle system from the factory, and you guys have figured out how to take that out. Yeah, that's correct. What we've done is we've uh, we've come up with a unit that'll actually fix the uh, the pedal lag associated with the drive-by-wire vehicles. Um, it's a simple install, uh, vehicle-specific. So all you got to do is unplug the factory plug, uh, plug the unit in, plug the factory plug back in, that's it. Now why does the factory have a lag in these systems? The manufacturers manipulate how the vehicle drives, they can give you a better warranty, but it takes away from the fun of driving the vehicle. You want to get the power you paid for. That's right. Now you've got a nice little display here. Show me what you mean by throttle lag. Alright, so if you take a look, you can see the throttle body over here, so we'll go ahead and hit the pedal. No matter how fast or how hard you push that pedal, the throttle body is going to open what they programmed it to open. So you can't, you can't fix that by pushing it faster, pushing it harder no matter what you do. So we've got over here, this is stage one. It's still gonna be a progressive opening, but it's gonna be a lot quicker. So you get a lot quicker response from the throttle body. And then on stage two, you're gonna get a true linear, like a one-to-one, -one, which is just like your cable throttle. So you push the pedal, throttle body opens, the car goes. Yeah, on the old cars, you had the, the throttle with the cable on it. When you push it, it opened. The new ones are, are electronic. I didn't know they could put lag in these, but Sprint Booster can take it out. Yeah, they've got it programmed in, we take it out. Well, if you're looking to fix your problem, get all the performance out of your car, SprintBoosterUSA.com. As I take a stroll through the halls here at SEMA, I came across some sunglasses that actually don't suck. And that was actually Justin's words, right, Justin? That's right, these are the ones that don't suck. Inferno USA, these are made out of some really strong, and we're talking about really good aluminum here. 6061, billet aluminum, durable, bend them, dual embedded spring loaded hinges on the arms for comfort, removable foam inserts, you have a goggle when you want a goggle, sunglass when you want a sunglass, it's TR90 nylon, that means it's good, pop that sucker in, you are tear free at 140 miles per hour all day and all night, we have a custom engraving all done by hand, Custom road rashing, all done by hand. We hydro dip any color you can possibly imagine. Four different lens options to choose from in our burn style sunglass. We have a polarized yellow to smoke high definition transition. We have a polarized amber transition that changes from day to night. My number one seller is the polarized smoke transition that changes from day to night. And my personal favorite, and I think the greatest driving lens ever made, is the polarized high definition lens. It's beautiful. Well, what if someone doesn't want to go with the aluminum? You know, we offer a lot of different styles, and you'll be able to see a lot of the styles online as well. One of my latest creations here is called the Inferno Fuel. It's a TR90 nylon frame. It's durable. You want to find out more, all you have to do is hop on their website at infernousa.com. I found a solution to a common problem a lot of people have. You're loading an ATV or a big load in the back of your tailgate on your pickup truck? Look at this cable. That is all it's holding. Have you ever had one that looks like this? Glenn, you got a solution to that problem. Yes, I do. It's an easy fix. Tailgate EX support bar. All you have to do is lock it in your latching system. No tools at all? No tools at all. Just latch it in your latching system, lift your gate up a couple inches, slide it on, they're installed. Repeat to the other side and to remove the product, all you do is open up your tailgate handle, it releases out and removes. You still use the existing cables that are on your tailgate, you correct. just put the bar in for more support. Yeah, correct. Once you put these bars in, the bars will be loose. As you start adding weight to your tip of your tailgate, the, bar, the cables will stretch, the bars will lock in for that extra security. Yeah, and you have some different sizes. You make them for all different models of trucks, different lengths for the different tailgates, but you also make them in some shorter lengths. What, why would you do that? Well, what we do is with the dirt bike guys, they can't always close their tailgate. So we make a 10-inch bar to keep their tailgate up partially positioned. They can still tow a trailer. And we have a 13-inch bar for usually your street bike guys that needs that little extra opening. 
Yeah. Right, you don't have to have a, a big strap around the tailgate holding the tailgate up. You're towing a trailer, you can't leave the tailgate down. That's a simple solution to put the bars in there and uh, support the tailgate, not uh, let your load fall out the back, and you can still tow your trailer. Very nice, simple, very easy, compactable where you, for storage. Uh, I see a set of these in the future for my truck. Oh, thank you. <laughs> This week's industry update, Tommy, hopefully we're going to help save people a whole lot of money and grief. Absolutely. One of the biggest things today that people don't think about, if you've got a pickup truck, one of the easiest things to steal is the tailgate. It, the tailgate uh, thefts have gone up dramatically. You're at an event, you come out in the parking lot, your tailgate's gone. Why are they stealing it? Because it's simple to take. It takes these two straps and lift it off. You're gone in seconds. Exactly. No tools or anything like that. Average cost of a tailgate, about 1200 bucks. And Tommy, if they happen <laughs> to have one of those backup cameras, hey, that could be up to $3,600 just like that. Uh, nobody wants that. So no. Dynalock has come up with a really simple solution to that problem. This little device right here, you install right in your tailgate, right in the latch mechanism, the wiring harness, everything comes complete, you run it and you splice into the wires for your regular lock so you can use your regular key fob, your factory key fob, no, no hard installation at all. You splice it right in, comes with everything. When you lock your doors, your tailgate's locked and they can't remove it. Show me how this is done, because we've got slick. one installed right here. Lock the doors. There Slot, you have can't it. get it. Made in the USA, five-year warranty. You want to find out more about how you could save your tailgate? Just go to Dynalock.com. As you stroll through the halls at SEMA, you can see all kinds of really cool gadgets after all. That's what SEMA is all about. But it's the special gadgets, especially the ones that SEMA recognizes and gives awards to. And Mark, that's what we have here from Aptronics. Yes, you do. We, Aptronics has put together an updatable rear view mirror uh, that is there to give consumers and buyers uh, navigation, Bluetooth, uh, backup camera and DVR all inside the mirror. Even a radar detector inside here? Yeah, so when law enforcement is targeting your vehicle, we can diffuse their guns and then our smart nav will warn you verbally and visually uh, to give you ample time to slow down. The DVR um, records everything you see and everything you hear inside the cab. And you can see on Google Maps where it's been, how fast it's been traveling, and what's been set in the cab. You can see that it's recording everything we're doing right now. Uh, you can actually mute that in case you're in a car and you don't want anyone to ever know what you're saying. You can actually mute the interior cab. In addition to being able to record, we can also use this as a player. Correct. It's a media player. The smart nav connects to any smartphone, downloading your phone book and giving you access to your uh, music that's on your phone. When you mentioned, you know, like the laser detectors and, and that type of thing, that's completely wireless between this unit and the front of the vehicle. Correct. Wow, so many different things that you have integrated into these systems. If we want to find out more and, and pick out the system that is correct for us, how can we do so? Uh, you can visit us on our website. We'll do whatever we can to help you get to the right system. Entertainment, safety, and so much more all wrapped up into one really cool product. At Advertising Edge booth at the SEMA show, I'm with Don. Don, I'm very familiar with your crew shirts. I've worn those for years, but I'm in your booth here and you've got a whole line of apparel I didn't even know about. Yes, Advertising Edge, besides manufacturing crew apparel, is one of the largest manufacturers of replica wear and custom apparel for your company or your race team. Now, the one thing I like about your company, made in the USA? Yes, all of our crew apparel, sublimated crew apparel, is manufactured in the USA. Now, everybody at SEMA is introducing new products. Are, do you have anything new this weekend? Yes, we have our new uh, sublimated hoodie sweatshirt, and we also have a hooded uh, track jacket also that's brand new to the line. Now, you, you incorporate the full design. You, you, you know, give an idea what you want. You guys are capable of drawing up the designs. And, and how, how quick a turnaround does your company provide with these people? Um, being a full manufacturer, we do everything in-house. So normal turnaround time is about two and a half to three weeks for a complete custom product. Yeah, I mean, you do embroidery, you do supplement, you do a little bit of everything, right? Yes, we do screen printing, embroidery, sublimation, promotional products, every product you can think of for a team or your company we have available. I, I like it. I've, I've, I mean, actually right now I got an advertising head shirt on. And everything in here I, I've seen before, but I, I'm just amazed at the, the quantity of products and the different teams, and you pretty much cover everybody. Yeah, it's funny. We go all the way from F1 teams to drag racing to NASCAR. So, yes, we cover the gamut and your company. And TV. And TV, yes. <laughs> if you need crew apparel, any kind of apparel, check out Advertising Edge.
You can see the hustle and bustle here. This is the 47th annual SEMA show. But SEMA, the organization itself, well, it's been around a little longer than that, 50 years now. That's right. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the SEMA organization. You know, the SEMA show is the launch pad for our industry's new products every year. And this year is our greatest turnout ever. Yeah, not only the companies, but we see the buyers are here. I mean, the market is really exciting right now. It is, and uh, you know, we have among all those buyers, about 25% of them are from countries abroad. So the show has really become an international show. Where did SEMA stem from? 1963, you had a handful uh, of manufacturers of mainly what they called speed equipment in those days. Those guys ran into some challenges. They figured out, you know, we can solve some of these things better by working together than trying to handle it independently. The organization was formed and uh, it has grown like crazy ever since. So we are now at 6,500 companies. The show is absolutely amazing. I and mean, everything that we've been able to see and experience and bringing this all together for us every year. If you want to find out more about the SEMA organization, and if you weren't here, some of the stuff that you missed, all you have to do is go to their website at SEMA, S-E-M-A, dot org. This week's ARP quarter mile quiz question comes from Bruce in North Carolina. Bruce wants to know who is the most interesting drag racer to interview. Thanks a lot for your question, Bruce. Well, over all of the years that I have been spending interviewing drag racers on the NHRA trail, I think the obvious answer to your question is John Force. You never know what he's going to give you, and that's what makes watching his interview so much fun. Feed the beast, they call it. What a day. Now I'm going to have me a Budweiser right now. So, Bruce, thanks a lot for your question. If you have a question for the ARP Quarter Mile Quiz, send it to the address on the screen. If we use your question on the air, you'll receive a free ARP Quarter Mile Quiz shirt. This edition of Performance TV, presented by Low Car Performance Products, is being brought to you by Do More Truck. Everyday truck users get it. Exoto, extending the life of your vehicles and equipment. VR12, ultimate cooling system protection. Garage Social, all the vehicles all around the world. And by Aesthetic Finishers, your powder and ceramic hitter coating specialist. I'm in the VR12 booth here at SEMA with Luis. You have vitamins for the radiator. Yeah, that's a simple uh, maintenance program for the cooling system. Uh, if you're using water in your cooling system, make sure that you add VR12 to it. And there's many reasons why. This is the water using H2O, and we all know the water, hydrogen to oxygen, oxygen oxidizes. This is what you're using in your car. What's protecting your car? Nothing. Now, by using VR12, this is exactly the same metals using VR12, and this is the way you keep your engine. So you keep your engine clean, which in turn works better. Yeah, I mean, I, all the guys that leave the water, I pulled the radiator cap off before, all the corrosion in there. It's, it's from the water going through the, the block, cylinder block, and you can see the water jackets in the block get a little rust in them. This will keep everything clean, keep the, everything flowing. It's gonna cool better, for sure. Well, absolutely, by keeping the cooling system working properly, it absolutely cools better. The engine works easier, water pump works easier. It's like cholesterol in your body. The more cholesterol you got, the more your heart's got to work. The engine's the same thing. Yeah, it doesn't flow, everything corrodes up. I mean, guys leave their cars in the shop over the winter, they don't drain the water. You come back, it's all corroded up. Yeah. With this stuff in there, you don't have to worry about it. That's what ends up happening. You come back and this is what you get. This is the same metals. Now, if you leave it over the, over the winter, you can imagine what you're going to be getting back. This is the way it should be. This is the way you got to keep it. This is the way to go. Well, if you're going to keep your cooling system running smoothly, go to vr-12.com. When you need to haul items, whether you're doing it for work, whether you're doing it for fun, no matter what, and you need to haul a lot of it and be able to get to it, man, sometimes that can really be a pain. And David, not if you have a cargo glide. Oh, no. If you have a cargo glide, you can get to your load easily, safely, and very efficiently. We have eight different models. We have four that come out 70%. We have four that come out 100%. So depending on your needs and capacity loads from 600 to 2,000 pounds, we've got the answer. Now I realize the one that we're looking at here, this is all done up for show. This is not the, the deck that you would see, but it shows a lot of the mechanisms. We're pretty proud of that. We have very substantial systems here, well engineered, designed to really work and perform well without failure. That's why we want to show it off. We want people to see how well we built Cargo Glide. 
This unit will come out 100%. It has safety locks every 12 inches. We'll demonstrate on the way back in. Watch it go. Keeps going. Keeps going. Can you believe it? 100%. 100%. Now, this is something not just putting it in, into a truck, but we're talking about vans. We're talking about SUVs. You can, you can put this in all kinds of things. Absolutely. Going back in, we have locks every 12 inches. There's a stop. There's a stop. So if you got a load coming out, release it, it stops. It's a very safe product. That, and I, I love the design of the deck that we can see over here on, on some of the other models. You want to find out more about all of the eight cargo glides they have, you know what you got to do? Go to their website at cargoglide.com. We're in Cloud Rider Designs booth here in SEMA Show, and I'm with Jim Smith. Jim, a lot of truck accessories here. What all do you make? Uh, we're, we're the originator of stainless steel grill inserts. Uh, we also do uh, stainless steel running board, uh, some three or four different types of uh, mud flaps and uh, tow flap that you hang off the back of your truck to protect what you're towing. What is your new product you're throwing out here at uh, SEMA this year? We have a, a long flap uh, that actually works as a flare and a mud flap. Uh, it's made of bonded rubber, it lasts for years uh, and it's brand new and it, it takes up a couple of things that people might be uh, in the market for. Yeah, I noticed now you, you, a lot of trucks put a fender flare on, put a big tire and keep the mud off of it. Your, your long flap here does both all in one. You bet, yeah. And it's like I say, it's brand new to us. It's uh, it's 77 inches long, uh, full length, and it can be cut uh, to fit any type of fender. And you can actually vary the width on it. So if you have a really wide tire, you can probably get about three inches wider. And if you're not quite as wide, you can you know only stick it out an inch to to cover the tire. So you're not getting in trouble with the police all of that. <laughs> do you focus mostly on GM, or do you have all the other brands as well? No, we do grill answers for every brand. We started in 1995, and we've never actually deleted. Uh, uh, design. So if somebody has a 1998 Ford F-150, we can get that design. We might not have it on the shelf, but within a week we can have it uh, We can have it built, boxed, and sent to you. That's perfect. A lot of beautiful truss accessories here. I, I'm impressed with this. You got a lot of neat stuff here. Check them out. Cloud-Rider.com.